Why, yes, it's real. Just like these bad boys right here. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I was reading an article the other day on a news site. You know, one of those, those lie-filled, tangentious, spin-doctor websites that likes to poison the culture with a bunch of falsehoods and all sorts of, you know, a news website. And uh, I was reading an article uh, that, that had the words porn and Republican in the title. Now, even if you have a very dull view or a very dull understanding about politics, you should know that sex scares the living shit out of Republicans. Don't believe me? Well, if you don't believe me after I read this article, why are they always trying to tell you what you can watch? Trying to tell you what you can read and trying to tell you what kinds of things you can use in the bedroom each other? And, you know, the, the anti-government people. I and mean, why are they always trying to get inside a woman's uterus and tell her what she can and can't do with it? And trying to defund things like Planned Parenthood. Republicans and sex, or the overall idea of sex, have just never mixed ever. And this article is a clear indication of that. GOP anti-porn plank added to draft platform by Republican committee. The GOP platform committee has included a plank in this year's draft document calling for vigorous enforcement of anti-pornography laws. Strong, 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 powerful language. We want vigorous anti-pornography laws. We want to get the porns out of the hands of everybody. Now, really, they just want to get the porn out of the hands of kids, but that means everybody has to be screwed out of it, right? It's just like trying to ban violent video games so kids don't get them. So you have to screw everybody, even the mature adults that these games are marketed to can't play them just because a few little kids might play them. You gotta love politics, folks. You gotta love politics. No, you don't. In a press release Monday from Morality, listen to this name, Morality in Media. <laughs> Any special interest group close to politics that has the word morality discredit everything they say instantly. I can't snap. A faith-based nonprofit, President Patrick Truman, a former anti-porn prosecutor, calls the distribution of pornography, quote, a violation of current federal law and lauds Republicans for stricter new wording. The new language replaces previous platform wording, which only opposed child pornography. Okay, here's the thing. It just seems to me that all these anti-porn crusaders are lumping in your garden variety normal pornography of a man and a woman um, above the age of 18 getting it on, lumping that shit in with child pornography. Get rid of child pornography. Uh, make all the legislation you need to get rid of child pornography. It's awful that child pornography is even out there. But stop lumping all pornography in with child pornography. That's what it seems like they are doing, especially the Republicans that come out with these stupid, stupid laws and ideas about pornography. I, I just don't understand it. But, you know, then again, I I've never really fully understood the brain of the average conservative. But here's the deal, okay, here's, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. We have another faith-based special interest group moseying its way into the ear of politics Again, trying to get what it wants again. This whole separation between church and state thing. It's never going to be there, ladies and gentlemen. It's never going to be there because we have moral dickheads like this trying to tell you what you can and can't watch. And if, if, if the wrong people can get their hands on it, we're not going to do the logical thing and, and try and make it harder for them to get it. We're just going to take it away. Nobody can have it. Uh, bad rock lyrics... Let's do the Walmart line of thinking here. Um, filthy rock lyrics? Well, we don't. We already put the sticker on the label because we don't want kids listening to it. Kids are still getting it. Okay, we're just not going to carry any of it in our stores. And again, Walmart is a faith-based shithole anyway. Um, but stop it. Just th th This probably won't make much of a difference. But please, you faith-based organizations, do what pleases you, okay? Limit your kids however you think you need to limit your kids. Don't let them watch these things. Don't watch these things yourself. Don't play these games. Don't listen to these lyrics. Stop trying to fuck over everybody else with anti-porn legislation or, or anti-violent movie or anti-violent this and that. If conservatives had their way, we would have no rated R movies. PG movies would even be just a little bit, just a little bit too blatant for them. We, 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 would, we would all be listening to, to contemporary Christian rock. 
contemporary Christian rock. Oh God, that that that's a soundtrack to a bout of diarrhea after Taco Bell. Jesus Christ. They they would have everything cleaned and scrubbed and sanitized for their own interests. They're not interested in you. They're not interested in me. They're interested in what pleases them. And I say, get that shit out of here. It shouldn't be just for you, you selfish, moronic bastards, okay? That's the way any censorship group works. That's the way that any group that tries to get something banned in this country is, unless it's like cigarettes or something. That's the way any of those groups work. They want it banned, so they no longer have to deal with it. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with your interests. It has nothing to do with what's best for you. It's what's best for them. For uh, the morality in media, it's what's best for them because they think it's what brings the family together. They think it's what this country needs. Some good, clean morality with no pornography. It makes me want to vomit. I don't know, folks, uh, the, 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 the more these groups, and Mitt Romney, of course, took somewhat of an anti-porn, so we all know what Rick Santorum, Rick Santorum's a moron anyway. If any of you put any credence in what Rick Mitt Santorum says, I suggest you just don't vote. Please don't vote. If you believed anything he said, don't vote, please. Don't vote. Uh, but as long as we have little specialized interest groups like this in this country, there, there's always going to be planks like this. Ad. This one will hopefully probably get shut down, but... Even so, what is so bad about porn to these people? What is so bad about it? Because there's people getting paid to have sex on camera? Why should prostitution even be illegal? I don't get that. And it's not for the reason that Carlin gave, selling's legal, fucking legal, why isn't selling fucking legal? It's if these people want to hire a hooker because they can't get anything on their own, or they just want to have a different experience and they want to get paid for the experience, why not? It's there. It's sex. It's on everybody's mind and consciousness, and as long as they can make money off it, they will. Because people generally tend to have a lot of sexual thoughts. That's generally. But what's so bad about porn? Because you can wax your carrot to the, to the images of somebody else doing it, and you're not procreating? No, the Republicans think unless you have your dick inside of a vagina while you're watching that porn, and you're shaking it off, and you're, and you're inseminating the woman for procreation, then they think you shouldn't do it. it, it it's, it's disgusting and astounding. And conservatives aren't the only anti-porn people. I mean, th th there are a lot of liberals out there. I'm sure that also, I think, no, not Tipper Gore. Whatever, there are liberals out there as well, but conservatives are always the loudest ones about it, and usually the most obnoxious, and usually the most stupid with their wording. Just like this, vigorous enforcement of anti-pornography laws. Again, go after child porn, but leave everything else alone. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it has to be banned. Doesn't mean it has to be locked away in a safe and never seen again. Ah. End rant.